Hi, this is Bob Sirico, the Computer Tutor. In an earlier lesson, we talked about the importance of an IP address and, more importantly, the subnet mask and how the subnet mask told us the difference between the network address and the host address. So when we look at this IP address 192.168.15.3, we have to decide what part of the number is the network address and what part of the number is the host address. And the subnet mask is what's used to determine the network versus the host part of the number. So in this example, the host number is three and the network address is 192.168.15. In this next example, notice that I changed the subnet mask to 255.255.00. So this network address is 192.168.00. But this time, the computer's IP address, the host address, is 15.3. So this is the 192.168 network with a computer identified as 15.3 on that network. And the last example we talked about was the 192.168.15.3 with a subnet mask of 255.0.0.0. Well, what this lesson is going to explain even more of how that subnet mask works and a lot of uh, tricks to, to help you find out what the network address is and the host address is. Most of us, when we're looking for something on the internet, we don't know the IP address we're going to. Instead, we use a computer name or we use a thing like Microsoft.com or ComputerTutorsUSA.com. Really, where we're going to is a specific IP address. So if we were saying, you know, I'm looking for Bob's house, you know, the postal carrier probably doesn't know where Bob's house is. He's probably, he or she is looking at the street address, 403 57th Street. What we're going to do is we're going to take a look at a picture of some computers here and talk about these computers. Here's three desktops, a laptop, two tablets, and also I'm describing the internet here. Each of these computers, the six of them, will have unique IP addresses to talk about how to get to them. So this could, computer, this first computer I'm pointing to could be called Blue 1, this one could be called Blue 2, and this one could be called, you know, Tablet 4. To get to those, we have to have an IP address. Now, everything on the internet also has a unique IP address. So let me pause for a second and switch over to my whiteboard so we can discuss this more. So let's take a closer look at this picture. I have this computer, and we'll call it Blue One. I'll just shorten that up to B1 for Blue One, and we'll call this one Laptop One. So if you were sitting at Blue One and looking to get to files or folders on Laptop One, you would say, I want to go to Laptop One. Well, really where you're going to is an IP address. So the example I'm doing now is these machines live on 192.168.15 network, and Blue One may be 97, and Laptop One may be 107. So when you're looking for specific machines, you need to find the network address and you need to find the host address. And the way we find the network address and the host address is by using the subnet mask. In an earlier lesson, I talked about some rules, uh, whether these are rules found on the internet or rules that Bob Sirico made up, really doesn't matter about the rules, but we talk about rule number one is the numbers we use in an IP address must be between 0 and 255. And the second rule we discussed in an earlier lesson is where the dots are matter a lot. So if you have 192.168 is different than 19.68. So the dots are very important. I'm going to add two more rules. Uh, rule number three is the host portion of the IP address can't be all ons nor can they be all offs. Now we'll have a full lesson on this, but I'm just going to leave rule three in here for a little while and I'll remind you about rule number three often. Right now we're going to talk about my rule number four. It's all about the subnet mask. When we look at an IP address, as I mentioned before, the subnet mask separates the IP address into two parts, the network portion of the IP address and the computer or the host portion of the IP address. And without the subnet mask, we really don't know anything about the type of IP address we have, how many computers there are on the network, or any of that. 
So what I've done is I've come up with a little table here for you to look at. 255, we mentioned in an earlier lesson, is all ons. So 255 would be in binary on, 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 a double. A zero would be eight offs. Another zero would be eight offs. And the last would be eight additional offs. So what we would have is we would have eight ons and 24 offs. These are pretty basic subnet masks. Now we have lessons later that we're going to talk about subnetting and some special tools that we're going to do and, and skills we're going to have. But right now, let's just keep to the basic three subnet masks that most of us see on a day-to-day -day basis. We have the next subnet mask, 255, 255, zero, zero, would be eight ons, eight additional ons, and then eight offs, and eight additional offs. So we would have 16 ons and 16 offs. And the last subnet mask, 255, 255, 255, zero, would be eight ons, eight more ons. Now see, I, I hate to say more ons because it doesn't sound right. Eight additional ons and eight additional ons. We don't have any more ons here. We have eight ons, eight more, and eight more, and then we have eight offs. So we would have 24 ons and eight offs. So when we look at a subnet mask in this little table, we have 192.168.15.3 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. So we call this a subnet mask because what we're trying to do is take this number and mask which part of the number is the network address and which part of the number is the host address. Now, if we had written out the 255, it would have been eight ons. I'm not going to say more on again, but eight additional ons. And then the last 255 would be eight additional ons. And then the zero would be represented by eight offs. So when they talk about masking, what the subnet mask does, it masks which portion of the network is the network address. So here's the network, and the host is being masked off. So this is the network address. And when we're looking at the other side of the subnet mask, this time the network is being masked, and what's being exposed is the network address. So let's move over to the whiteboard and do some examples of uh, some IP addresses and some subnet masks. Okay, I just wrote an IP address, 192.168.44.18, and we're going to keep saying this over and over again, and I'm sorry about so much repetition, but that's just the educator in me. When I look at this number, I really can't tell what portion of the number is the network address or what portion is the host address. So I'm going to write a subnet mask of 255.255. .255 dot 255 dot zero. And as I explained earlier, this would be eight ons. I'm not going to say it. Eight additional ons. Eight additional and eight offs. So we draw a line here between the 44 and the 18. So the network address now is 192.168.44, and the computer or the host address is 18. So if we had another computer that was on the same network, it would look like this. And I'm just writing the 255s. So now our imaginary dotted line is there, and it's not a dotted line, it's a line. But you notice that these two computers happen to be on the same network. In the first lesson, I talked about a street, but 192.168.44 is the network address. 192.168.44 is the network address. Computer 18 versus computer 34. This gives it the unique number on the network, so we could identify computer 18 and computer 34. So let me write down another um, IP address and give you a moment and let you think about what I have here. So I'm going to write 
three. And of course, first question you should be asking yourself, what's the network address? What's the host address? Now don't say 199.44.246 is the network address and three is the host address because I have not given you the subnet mask. So let me fool you or try to fool you by writing the subnet mask 255.255.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
So that's the network address now when I do a slash 16. And whatever the host address is, the slash 16 is telling me use that many for the network side. The last one I'm going to do for this lesson, and you'll see other lessons that I do that talk more about this, but let me give you a chance to try again yourself. And the question I'm asking you would be like a test question. Of course, I would never give you an actual test question, but it's not right. But I, I would say if I was building a test question, this may be a question that I would ask. Which portion of this number is the network address and which portion of this number is the host address? So let me give you a moment to think about it. Okay, a slash 24 would be eight on bits which would be a 255. Eight additional on bits, which would be another 255. And eight more on bits, which would be a 255. And the rest of them would be offs. So my original question is, which part of that number is the network address and which part of the number is the host address? Well, the network address is 19944. 15, and the host address is 17. I hope this helps. See you in other lessons.